Hi, it's Zana. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And this series is called Consciously Create because we talk about all things business and marketing and branding and growing your social media and all of that kind of stuff. So for this video, I thought I would go into the pros and cons of being independent and sign into a, a record label but this can also relate to any kind of business because essentially a record label is literally like a loan or an investor or somebody like that so it can relate to any kind of industry that you're in and I also feel like this is key because I make music and this is the path that I'm talking about it might help some of you guys who I know are also artists and make music and even producers and stuff like that it can um and really benefit you to understand the differences between the two because when I kind of explained this to a family member they were very like what the fuck because they didn't realize that the industry worked that way and that it was so corrupt and that people signed deals that literally were like extortion <laughs> and literally like they take all of your money kind of thing and obviously that's not every label but that's just the industry standard from the last like 100 years or whatever. This video is about the pros and cons of being independent and signing to a record label and I'm also going to touch on the path that I'm choosing and why I'm choosing that and all of that kind of stuff so stay tuned to the end if you want to know what I am doing. So let's just start with signing a record deal first because that's kind of like the main thing that people always strive towards and really want to get. So Obviously, like the big artists, they get a lot more invested into them. So their deals might be a million pound or a few million pound. But smaller artists may only get 50,000 or they might get 100,000 or something like that. You know, it varies and all deals are completely different. So this is why it's so important to actually get a lawyer and really pay attention to the details in the clauses. Because like they can screw you over in so many ways. But sometimes there are good deals and there are things that work for people. So it's just about being really like knowledgeable and paying attention to the details of the contracts. So essentially a record label is like a bank, like it's a loan. They loan you money and they provide you with all of their connections and all of their resources, like the producers that they know, um, the videographers that they know. They have a full machine basically of different people in so many areas of all of the creative things that you need so that's why it can be really incredible and powerful to sign a deal because like they literally have all of the connections that you could ever need to get anywhere and do anything you know whereas when you're independent you have to do it all for yourself and you have to figure it all out for yourself and hire your own team to be able to have these creative people around you but with a label, you are actually technically hiring all of these people because it all comes out of your pocket. Like the budget for the music video that's coming out of your pocket, it's not coming out of theirs. They're loaning you the money that you have to pay back. So it's also important to know the business even if you do sign a deal because oftentimes like, you could just go spending all of this money thinking that it's theirs and it's actually coming out of your pocket because you have to pay it back. So, I mean, it's a business at the end of the day. It's all about generating money, isn't it? Like, they wouldn't do it if it didn't make the money. So, obviously, they have to have these clauses in there to be able to make the fortunes that they do, you know. So, let's just say that you sign a million pound deal. You have to pay that million pound back first before you make anything. So this is why a lot of artists are broke because they actually have to pay back the loan first before they make anything. And then on top of that, the label will also take a cut. So depending on how well known you are, you can obviously negotiate that percentage. But in the early stages, like I feel like um, for the most part, record labels take probably like 70, 60 or 70 percent. That's what I've researched anyway. Maybe it's different now, I don't know. But they could take like 70%. So that leaves the artist with 30% after they've paid back their million pounds. So let's just like work this out because my math is no good. So we're going to use a calculator. Say you bring in 20 million. This is 2 million. Say you, say you made 20 million and they gave you a 2 million pound record deal so f immediately out of that 20 million that you've brought in 
two million and go straight back to the label because that's how much they loaned you. So we're now left with 18 million. Then out of that 18, they take 70%. Or let's say a number that's easy. How the fuck do I divide that by 70? <laughs> Let's just say 75 to make it easier with my maths calculations. So if they take 75% of that, that's literally three quarters of it gone immediately, you know? So if three quarters of that is then taken and given to the label, they've literally just taken 13 and a half million out of the 18 million. Isn't that insane? <laughs> like these numbers are crazy, but obviously that still leaves you with a few million left for yourself. But out of 20 million that you just generated, They've taken 13 and a half as their profit and then they've also taken the 2 million that they loaned you. So that leaves you with just a couple of million out of 20, which is kind of insane when I think about it. But obviously a few million is still a lot of money, but it's just, that's just insane proportions. But then at the same time, without having them, you may not have made that 20 million in the first place because if you didn't have their machine, then it would be a lot harder for you to make that 20 million in the first place, if that makes sense. So it's like, you kind of have to weigh out what you want the pros and cons with it because it's obviously higher numbers, but then their percentage, like the amount that they take is obviously also really large. So it's all about negotiating and stuff. So yeah, then with your few million that's left, you then obviously have to pay tax on it. And then you also have to pay the producers that you work with, because if you're working with many producers, then they all get their little percentages that comes out of your your cut of the big pie like it doesn't come out of their 13 and a half million that they've just taken with the label it comes out of yours so it's just things to be weary about and obviously with this this is all about the money side of things and dividing the pie up kind of thing so that's kind of I do feel like that is a negative with signing with a deal is that you don't get large percentages but then it also depends on whether you own your masters and all of that kind of stuff, whether you own the copyright to your music. And oftentimes when you sign to a big label, they will own it. So that's when you can get in sticky situations like with Taylor Swift and people like that, where they own your songs and you can't do anything about it. You can't perform them without their permission and all of that kind of stuff. So you really have to um, be careful and pay attention and know what you're signing. And obviously there's pros and cons like there are some pros to it because you do have this machine and you have access to all of these resources and all of these things that you can then go and do you can do the big budget videos with the top um directors and stuff because you now have access to them that you wouldn't have necessarily if you were independent so it really is just about weighing up what you want kind of thing and then with independent independent is obviously a lot harder because you're doing it all yourself but then at the same time it's a lot more um like ah at the same time you have a lot more control because you're doing it yourself you then don't have somebody telling you what you can and can't do and which songs can release and when they can release and all of those kind of things so for me personally i would rather be independent partly because i know about the corruption that goes on in the industry and if you listen to my podcast and other videos on um like mind control and Hollywood and the stuff that happens there. I just don't even wanna associate with those type of deals and contracts. So there's that side of it. But then on the other end, like being independent also has a lot of benefits because of the fact that you can literally create your dreams. Like you can literally create it however you want. You know, the fact that I'm sitting here filming these types of videos, maybe if I was signed, I might not be able to do that because they might think that it looks bad on my brand or whatever. I think it's just a case of being true to yourself and what you want and what you like and the kind of creative um, direction that you want to go down, you know? And also being independent, you can still reach as high in numbers and as, as like worldwide if you take um people like Rust for example and Devon Terrell and people like that like they have fan bases worldwide and it does open up opportunities to then sign other types of deals when you're further along in your journey as well so I just think that there's a lot of pros and cons to both and you really just have to stay true to yourself and choose the kind of direction that you want to go down but also be aware of both 
because being independent is not easy either it's a lot of hard work and everything falls on you because you don't have a huge team around you to do all of the little things that you don't even think about you know like all of the legal stuff all of the admin stuff they're things I have to do myself constantly and it does mean that I'm a a lot more busier doing other things aside from just making music and being creative you know there's a lot that goes into it and a lot that people don't see or don't realize until they go to do it themselves because obviously these big artists kind of make it look so easy and so effortless but they have huge teams behind them like they don't have to worry about doing their hair and makeup because they've got people to do it you know whereas I'll sit here and film all of these videos and do all of this myself because I don't have that big investor pumping all of this money in you know so yeah it kind of really is about money at the end of the day it's like can you afford to do it yourself and to prioritize where you put your money and be really disciplined with it or would you rather strive for having that investor? But then in nowadays, you actually need to do a certain amount of it yourself before they'll even be interested in you. So by the time they actually even notice you and want to step in and help, you've already done the majority of it yourself and you may not even feel like you need them now because you've literally just built your fan base and created so many albums or mixtapes or whatever yourself that you don't even need the machine anymore and you don't want them to step in and start controlling everything that you've already built you know so yeah everyone's different and you just have to um decide for yourself but I do think in the early stages you have to be independent because they're not going to come to you anyway until you're already bigger so you don't even need to worry about which direction you want to go in until you've reached a certain level where they then start paying attention and when you get to that point you can then decide and cross that bridge when you come to it of which path you want to take and whether the deal sounds right for you because you don't even know which label is going to um what's it called you don't know which label is actually going to come to you and offer you a deal like it could be any of them because there's quite a few so I think you have to cross that bridge when you come to it and for now just focus on building the foundation for yourself you know and creating the art as you want it and being free to do that so I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music and my social media and my phone number is there too if you want to text me or whatsapp me at all and yes I will see you in the next video bye yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in a white tee Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like, in my range all white